I am Mili Trivedi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology and today we will study about our next session uh, in depth about damped free vibration as well as logarithmic decrement. So let us start our study based on damped free vibration as well as logarithmic decrement. Students, you have to understand this. Damped free vibration, it means we are using the damping. Okay, and what is the damping? It is dissipation of energy. As we have already studied in our previous sessions. So, dissipation of energy is very, very, very important according to our point of view. Because in this uh, case, in this earth, on this earth, we are having so many resistance. And resistance is also very important for reducing the vibrations. Okay. So, let us start our study. For our study, as you see, we have three system. First one, zeta greater than 1. Second, zeta is equal to 1. And third, zeta less than 1. If zeta is greater than 1, it is known as over damped system. If zeta is equal to 1, it is known as critically damped system. And if zeta is less than 1, it is known as under damped system. Okay. Now as we all know zeta is a damping factor. And the equation of damping factor is damping coefficient by critical damping coefficient. Okay. So in this case we have to consider only on the basis of zeta value. Now suppose we have to study about over damped system. So what is over damped one? Over damped system it means zeta greater than 1. Okay. It means damping coefficient by critical damping coefficient. It means C by CC is greater than 1. It means C is greater than CC. Now if we want to study the equations. What are the equations of our system? So it is S1 and S2. S1 is equal to minus zeta plus under root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n. And what is S2? Minus zeta minus under root of zeta square minus 1 into omega n. Now for our uh, interest let us put zeta is equal to greater than 1. You can assume any of the value. You can assume 1.5, you can assume 2, you can assume 3 and so on. If you will put the value of zeta greater than 1 like 2 or 3 or 4 whatever the value you want to put you can understand that both the root or both the answer of the system are real, negative and different. Okay. This you have to put by yourself. So let us put the values. You have to put zeta is equal to 2 and check the value of S1. You have to put zeta is equal to 2 and check the value of S2. You can understand that both the values are different. The value or both the values will get the negative answer as well as they are real values. It means we will get two different values. For that we have to use x is equal to a e raised to s1 t plus b e raised to s2 t. This is the simple mathematical fundament that if both the roots are different, we will get two arbitrary constant a as well as b. Now, if we need to put end condition in our above equation, we will get the answer of a as positive and the answer of b as negative. How to put the values and uh, how to get the answer you will study in our numerical session. Okay. So now by putting the end condition but if you want to put the end condition then let me tell you first end condition or initial condition where t is equal to 0, x is equal to x0 and second condition where t is equal to 0, x dot is equal to 0. By putting these values, you will get A as positive and B as negative. Okay. So here, by putting that, you will get the slope. The slope of A at the upward side of the graph and the slope of B at the downward side of the graph. It means it is the over system. 
so many systems are over them and you can easily find out the system right now in uh, so many door closers we are using this kind of system known as over damped system okay now let us have our second system which is critically damped system in this critically damped system zeta should be equal to 1 if zeta is equal to 1 it means c is equal to cc so that we put the value of damping nearly the critical one. This, in this case, we will get both the values as same. It means, if you put zeta is equal to 1 in our equations, you will get the answer as minus omega n. So, S1 is equal to S2 is equal to minus omega n. So, according to the mathematical formula, we are getting the value of x as a plus b into t e raised to minus omega n t. This equation you have to remember in this case. But you have already studied about this equation. If we are having same roots, we are having the equation as a plus b into t e raised to minus omega n t. By solving this and if we want to find out the conditions, we have to put the end condition similarly as our system 1. So that we are getting both the equations and both the answers or arbitrary constant A and B as positive and real. Okay. So if we want to draw the graph, this graph is as shown in our diagram. This is just like this and critically damped system. So in so many gun barrels, we are using critically damped system. Okay. So this is critical damping. Now let us have our third which is under damp system. And this system is very well studied in mechanical engineering. In this case we will use the under damp system. It means zeta less than 1. It means damping whatever you are using should be lesser than the critical damp. It means C is less than CC. Now for your sake of interest, you can put less than 1 any value, but you should not put 0 value. If you are taking zeta is equal to 0, it means it is undamped system. There is not at all any damping. So that you have to put in between 0 to 1. You can put as you like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 or so on. So if you will put the value of zeta in our equation of S1 and S2, you will realize that both the roots should be imaginary. We will we'll get the answer as imaginary roots, negative and different. Okay. So, if roots are imaginary and negative, hence we have to solve this equation like this. We have to write down the equation of x as a e raised to minus zeta plus i under root of 1 minus zeta square omega n into t plus b e raised to minus zeta minus i under root of 1 minus zeta square omega n t. Okay. So, by solving this equation, we will get x e raised to minus zeta omega n t which is common and in a bracket we have to write a e raised to minus e raised to i under root of 1 minus zeta square omega n t plus b e raised to minus i under root of 1 minus zeta square omega n t. Okay. Now if you see one value is positive, the power of e is positive and another value, the power of e of negative. Okay. It means for one instant we will get the positive value and for second instant we will get the negative value. So that it will somehow behave like sine curve. Positive as well as negative. So it will be behaved like the sine curve phenomena. If it is the sine curve phenomena, then we can use the Euler equation for solving this condition. Before using the Euler equation, we have to assume under root of 1 minus zeta square, omega n is equal to omega d known as damped angular velocity. So by putting this equation and by solving this 
we will get the final answer as x is equal to x which is the constant or steady state displacement e raised to minus zeta omega in t in a bracket we will get sin omega dt plus phi so here x and phi they both are arbitrary constant and we can find the values of x and phi by putting the initial or end conditions okay now if we will study the under damp system it will create a sign graph which is continuously reducing okay so this is the standard graph of under damp system from here the under damp system is clear now we have to study about the logarithmic decrement now student if we want to study the logarithmic decrement we can say that the graph is continuously decrement it means upper portion or the lower portion is continuously decreasing and the decrement value is in the form of logarithmic condition it means the decrement is also very much constant so for that constant value we have to consider the value of logarithmic decrement okay so let us have the logarithmic decrement for this logarithmic decrement i have already written all the equations okay for uh, your understanding you can pause this video right now and you have to write all this equation okay let us solve this logarithmic decrement so as you see our first value is x1 our second value is x2 what is x1 and what is x2 they both are displacement clear at the first instant the time is t1 at the second instant the time is t2 and what is the difference between that time it is time period tp so that time period tp can be written as 2 pi by omega d why omega d because it is the damped frequency okay so here because it is the damped frequency we can write 2 pi by omega d clear now another equation of tp is t2 minus t1 okay now we have the standard equation of x as x e raised to minus zeta omega in t sin omega dt plus phi now let us find out the value for x1 displacement so that we have to write x1 is equal to x e raised to minus zeta omega in t sin instead of t we have to write t1 sin omega d t1 plus phi let us find out the value of x2 so x2 is equal to x e raised to minus zeta omega in t2 sin omega d t2 plus phi clear now let us put the value of t2 in this equation so here x2 is equal to x e raised to minus zeta omega in tp plus t1 sin omega d tp plus t1 plus phi now let us put the tp value in the sin part so here we will get x e raised to minus zeta omega n tp plus t1 sin omega d instead of tp we have to write 2 pi by omega d plus t1 plus phi now let us multiply and let us solve this equation by solving this equation we will get the sin part as omega d t1 plus phi clear now what is the logarithmic decrement the logarithmic decrement is standard or basic log of successive amplitude or standard or basic log of ratio of successive amplitude so we have to take ratio of successive amplitude it means x1 by x2 by solving this equation and putting this equation we will finally get the value of x1 by x2 as zeta omega n t let us have delta is equal to ln x1 by x2 so finally we will get zeta as delta as zeta omega n t 
Now what is Tp? It is 2 pi by omega d. So let us put the value zeta omega n 2 pi by omega d. Now put the value of omega d. So what is omega d? Under root of 1 minus zeta square omega n. So finally we will get the value of delta s 2 pi zeta upon under root of 1 minus zeta square. Clear? Now this logarithmic decrement is same for each and every successive amplitude. So let us have the ratio of x0 by x1 should be equal to ln x1 by x2 should be equal to ln x3 by x4 should be equal to upon xn minus 1 upon xn. Okay, so all the values of delta are similar. So let us sum all these values. So if we want to sum all these delta values, how many deltas are calculated? n delta. So n delta is equal to ln x0 by x1 plus ln x1 by x2 plus ln x2 by x3 up to so on. As we know, if in the log there is a sum, we have to multiply it. So finally we will get delta is equal to 1 by n ln x0 by xn by solving it. This equation should be solved by you. Okay, I have already written on the screen. You have to consider and have to understand accordingly. Okay, now this is our basic under damp, over damp and critical damp system as well as our logarithmic decrement. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Thank you.